Welcome back. This is Bill Llewellyn with Excel North. Today we will be doing how to remove various spots and stains using Excel Grab Specialty Spotter Series. One of the first things you need to know is that the difference between a spot and a stain. A spot can be removed using the appropriate chemicals in a normal cleaning process. And stains may look like spots, but the stains has actually changed the color of the fiber. In this series of videos, we will be doing ballpoint pen, betadine, coffee, enamel and lacquer spray paint, grease, gum, highlighter, ketchup, latex paint, motor oil, mustard, nail polish, rust, toner, and wax. Ballpoint pen. For ballpoint pen, you'll need grab ink spotter, clean white rags, a portable extractor, or grab VDS. For Broadloom carpet, apply the Grab ink spotter to a white cloth and then blot it onto the ink. For a carpet towel, you may apply it directly to the carpet. Blot gently with a soft white cloth. Do not rub. Keep repeating as needed. Continue to blot the area with a clean white towel. Dry extract the area with your spotter to remove as much of the solution as possible. You may need to reduce the stain. You can create a reducing solution by using Grab Coffee Spotter, which is an acid, along with a reducing agent. Apply the Grab Coffee Spotter with a reducing agent on top, creating a slight paste. Allow it to dwell. To accelerate the process, we will be using heat. Place a clean white cloth over the spot. Apply heat, allowing it to transfer into the cloth. Some stains may not come out all the way. Continue this process until no more transfer is observed. If portable extraction is not available, use Grab VDS with a clean white cloth. Grab VDS is a volatile dry solvent and will evaporate completely. Use this to rinse the area and the white cloth to absorb as much as possible. Betadine. To remove betadine, you'll need grab stain remover, clean white rags, and a portable extractor.
Apply the grab stain remover directly to the area. Allow to dwell. Then using your white cloth, absorb as much as possible. This may take more than one application. When completed, rinse the area with clean, fresh water. Coffee. For coffee, you're going to need grab coffee spotter, clean white rags, and a portable extractor. Apply the grab coffee spotter directly to the area. Allow it to dwell for two to five minutes. Work the area in. Take a clean white cloth and blot. Try to get as much transfer as possible. When no transfer is evident, go ahead and extract. Enamel and lacquer paint. For enamel and lacquer paint, you will need grab APG, grab gel spotter, clean white rags, portable extractor. If portable extractor is not available, you will need grab VDS. You will first want to apply the grab APG to the affected area. Then layering grab gel spotter on top of that so as not to allow the grab APG to evaporate. Allow this to dwell until the surface is soft. Once the area is soft, apply grab APG again to the surface either via rag or with carpet tile you may apply it directly to the carpet tile. Once the crust is broken then you may use grab ink spotter. Apply this generously to the area. Work the grab ink spotter into the area until you see no more transfer. Dry vacuum first. If you don't see any more transfer Flood the area with fresh water and extract. Or use Grab VDS as your rinsing agent. Grease. To remove grease you will need grab APG, a tamping brush, clean white rags and a portable extractor. Or if a portable extractor is not available you will need grab VDS. First you will want to remove as much of the grease as possible using the end of your tamping brush or a bone scraper. Apply grab APG to the area. Work the APG in to emulsify the grease. Continue to work the area until there is no evidence of any residue. Flood the area and extract thoroughly.
gum. To remove gum, you will need grab gel spotter, grab APG, clean white rags, portable extractor, tamping brush, and possibly grab ink remover. If you do not have a portable extractor, you will need grab VDS. First you will apply the Grab APG, then layer it with Grab Gel Spotter so that it does not evaporate. First apply Grab APG, then Grab Gel Spotter. Once the gum starts to loosen from the fiber, take a tamping brush or a bone scraper and remove as much as possible. If the gum had a dye in it, you may need to use Grab Ink Spotter to remove the colorant from the fiber. Once you get no more transfer, you'll want to rinse the area, either with your portable extractor or with Grab VDS. Highlighter. To remove highlighter, you'll need Grab Ink Spotter, Clean White Rags, Portable Extractor, or Grab VDS if an extractor is not available. Apply the Grab Ink Spotter directly to the area. Continue to work it in and blot it up as much as possible. This may take many attempts. If you're working with carpet tile, you may apply the Grab Ink Spotter directly to the carpet. Dry vacuum the area to remove as much of the suspended ink as possible. Once you feel you have all the ink removed, flood the area and extract. If you don't have an extractor, use Grab VDS and a white cloth to rinse. Ketchup. For ketchup you will need Grab Enzyme Spotter, Clean White Rags, portable extractor. Apply the Grab Enzyme Spotter directly to the area. Allow this to dwell. Continue to apply Enzyme Spotter as needed. Once there is no more evidence of the stain, flood the area, rinse completely. Latex Paint to remove latex paint, you will need Grab APG, Grab Gel Spotter, Grab Ink Spotter, Clean White Rags, Portable Extractor, a Tamping Brush, and if an extractor is not available, you will need Grab VDS. Apply the Grab APG to the area topped with Grab Gel Spotter. Allow it to dwell. Take your tamping brush or your bone scraper and remove as much as possible. Continue to apply Grab APG to the area and soften the surface. Once the majority of the paint is removed, you can then start to work in the Grab Ink Spotter. Work the Grab Ink Spotter into the area. Dry vacuum as needed. 
until you see no more residual transfer. Thoroughly rinse the area and extract. Motor oil. To remove motor oil, you will need grab APG or grab grease and oil spotter, clean white rags, a portable extractor. If one's not available, you can use grab VDS. Apply either grab grease and oil directly to the area or use grab APG. Work the grab grease and oil or grab APG into the area. Continue to work the area until you see no transfer on your rack. Thoroughly rinse the area. Mustard. To remove mustard, you'll need grab charge away, grab enzyme spotter, grab ink spotter, clean white rags, and a portable extractor. Mustard is, is a dispersed dye and most often does not come completely out. First apply grab charge away. Apply grab enzyme spotter and allow it to dwell, making sure you keep it moist. Continue to reapply as needed. Dry vacuum the area. You may notice that the stain may not come completely out. At this point, you can try creating a reducing agent. Take your grab coffee spotter along with a reducing agent and create a paste. Allow this to dwell on the stain. You may accelerate this by using heat. Place a clean white cloth over the area. During this process, you will see no transfer this will be a color shift, not a transfer. Flood the area and extract. Nail polish. To remove nail polish, you will need Grab APG, grab gel spotter, grab ink spotter, clean white rags, and a portable extractor. If no extractor is available, use grab VDS. Apply grab APG to the area, then grab gel spotter and allowed to dwell. Once the surface of the nail polish has been softened, you may apply grab ink spotter to the area. Work the ink spotter in, continuing to reapply as needed. Dry vacuum area, 
and reapply. Once all the polish has been suspended, you may flood the area and extract. Rust. To remove rust, you will need grab rust remover, clean white rag, portable extractor. Apply the grab rust remover directly to the area. Allow grab rust remover to dwell approximately 10 to 20 minutes. A second application may be needed. Toner. To remove toner you will need a vacuum cleaner with a hose attachment, grab charge away, grab ink spotter, clean white rags, and a portable extractor. First vacuum the area with a hose attachment only. Make sure that no agitation is used during this process. Then apply grab charge away to the area. Apply Grab Ink Spotter. Work the chemistry into the area. Continue to reapply as needed. Once the ink becomes fully suspended, dry vacuum with your extractor. Reapplication may be necessary. Once completed, flood the area and rinse thoroughly. Wax. To remove wax, you'll need a clothes iron and clean white cloth. Place your clean white rags over the area. Placing the iron on top of the cloth, allow transfer into your clean white rags. Continue this process, moving to a clean area each time. When no more transfer, the process is complete. This has been Bill Llewellyn with XL North. Please visit us at www.xlnorth.com.